Hello friends, welcome back to All in Law. This is a medical video lecture, Microbiology. And today's topic is an important virus, that's a virology we're going to discuss, and that's enterovirus D68, also known as EV. D68. So why we are discussing this is recently there has been outbreak affecting the children of the Midwest and the South. So let's start a discussion and try to know about this virus. So this virus that is an enterovirus D68 is one of the serotypes. This enterovirus name itself indicates that entero means entero means the gut or the gastrointestinal tract and the virus are the viruses. These viruses, the enteroviruses, they affect the gut and they are resistant to the stomach acid. their resistance to the stomach acid. Since they are as resistant to this stomach acid, because most of the viruses are killed by the stomach acid because of the very low pH acidity, right? Acidic pH, they kill the, most of the viruses, they kill the viruses, right? This is what you call the stomach acid. But this, these enteroviruses, they are very resistant to the stomach acid and they in fact the what you call gut that's why name has come that's an enterovirus in the enterovirus we have different types of viruses there are many serotypes but the clinically important is what we are the most important what we know is a poliovirus the Coxsackie A virus the Coxsackie B virus the rhinovirus and you know rhinovirus, the effect, they are most common cause for the common cold. Common cold. And there is one point that differentiates this rhinovirus from other viruses, other antiviruses, is that this virus is not resistant to the stomach acid. It means it, the stomach acid can kill this virus. Okay? And this rhinovirus doesn't affect the gut most of the cases right okay so now we have another different types recently that's the enterovirus D68 there is another virus known as enterovirus D70 that causes conjunctival hemorrhages okay since there recently there has been outbreak in the Midwest and the South affecting the children of a school age so we're going to talk about this antivirus D68 so antivirus D68 or the antiviruses they are RNA viruses and they are single stranded positive sense positive sense what's a positive sense the positive sense is nothing but if they run in the direction of 5 dash to 3 dash and if they run into the direction of 3 dash to 5 dash that's known as negative sense and the positive sense 5 dash to 3 dash viral RNA signifies that a particular viral RNA sequence may be directly translated into the desired viral proteins that's why known as positive sense okay right so we're going to talk about this positive sense and negative sense in a different video. Let's talk about this. Now let's move on to the clinical thing that what it does that this D68. Okay. So the D68, you know, it affects the respiratory tract. The respiratory tract. And this D68 is found in the sick or the patients of okay, infected with this virus is found in the respiratory secretions. 
raspy secretions like sputum okay nasal secretions okay so they are found in the respiratory secretions remember and this d68 it was first found in 1962 in california okay first case was uh, identified in 1962 in california so these viruses are found in the respiratory tract so they affect the respiratory system they can cause from mild to moderate respiratory illness first who are affected who are affected is from six months to what you call around 10 years or 12 years okay remember the most common being the five to four to five years of age school going children right and those children who are asthmatic asthmatic there are more risk of developing this uh, what you call this enterovirus the infection and they are more risk of going into the severe respiratory illness okay so now let's talk about the signs and symptoms signs and symptoms of this disease EVD68 as we said it can cause mild and it also can cause severe in the mild they can have the fever but remember 30 to 40 percent of patients may not have the fever also so it's a really very difficult to diagnose this disease fever since it affects what you call respiratory tract they will have runny nose sneezing cough and the muscle aches okay muscle aches and if it's a severe, like in asthmatic patients, it will cause very difficult breathing, okay, very and even wheezing. So, since there has what you call no death due to this disease, it's been reported, okay, most of the children have been admitted for the treatment for this uh, mild type of uh, enterovirus infection, okay. As I said, these are found in the respiratory tract infection like saliva, nasal secretions, nasal mucus, sputum, okay? So it's, it's a really very important to protect our children from this infection. We have to teach them how to protect themselves from this virus. What are the different ways? Okay? So what you have to do is, it should be what you call this EVD, the EVD68, likely spreads from person to person when an infected person coughs or sneezes or touches contaminated surfaces such as toys okay so we have to take care of ourselves and we have to teach the children how to take care and how to prevent this infection from okay so how can protect is this the most important is okay wash hands okay with soap for at least what you call for 20 seconds okay and this should be done by the mother or a caretaker or a babysitter for okay after changing the diapers okay so because these what you call viruses they are present in the gut they are secreted in the stool also so that's why we have to take care of ourselves by washing hands repeatedly for at least 20 seconds after soon after changing the diapers okay guys and avoid touching the eyes because sometimes the secretions from the eyes can in fact nose and mouth okay with unwashed hands remember avoid kissing hugging 
and sharing cups or eating utensils with the people who are risk okay and the another important thing is that disinfect frequently touches surfaces such as toys doorknobs okay remember and if the child is asthmatic then the precautions should be taken very what you call very seriously everything should be what you call clean disinfected because the asthmatic patients if they develop what you call if they catch this infection and um, that they may land in a severe respiratory illness okay okay let's talk about the another important points or what um, what you call um, is the how do you treat it what's the treatment plan for this okay look right now since it's very mild they will have the fever the over the counter analgesics okay it's a painkiller the fever to subside as okay and um, it can be tried and it will subside but okay and if there is a severe respiratory illness like a breathing difficulty then we have to rush to the hospital okay rush to the hospital and take the appropriate treatment there's a no role of what you call the antibiotics antimicrobials since it's a viral uh, okay and there's no vaccine available right now as of now no vaccine is available okay so remember this is really very really important right so these are the important points that you should uh, what you call so remember about this uh, um, pre uh, EV D sixty eight. Okay, guys. So I think I gave you some brief information about this. Um, it's an antivirus, and it uh, what you call it, it is found in the respiratory secretions. It affects the respiratory tract. It can cause pneumonia. It can cause bronchitis if it's severe. Okay. So um, try to know about how to avoid this virus. How to protect your children from this virus repeated washing your hand soon after changing the diaper okay and if if have to advise your child or uh, if if they are infected if they are sneezing if they are coughing tell them to cough into the crook of their elbow crook of their elbow okay and another one thing is that um either they cough into the their uh, crook of their elbow or long sleeves so that their hand doesn't come in touch with this virus and repeatedly because the kids repeatedly keep touching their nose their mouth okay so this virus can go into the respiratory tract and can cause infection that's why i tell them to teach them how to sneeze how to cough okay into the crooks of their elbows long sleeves okay so these are the important precautions uh, you have to take okay guys so uh, i'm sure this is uh, i think this video is uh, was really helpful for you please do subscribe to our